Hello everybody, it's Sephiroth Level 4 for the finale to Wario Land 4. In the last episode, we defeated Catbat and our final passage, and now uh, we also did the Golden Passage level. But now, but now, we have the final boss, the Golden Diva. Uh, this boss is actually really interesting. Um, it's actually a pretty decent final boss, even if it can get kind of annoying. Uh, for the item shop, I did save up some money for an item. Uh, I believe all four of these items do the exact same thing. So, I don't know. I'm gonna go with the one that I think is gonna be really fun, and that's the Big Fist. Uh, like I said, there's, there's no super item for this one. You actually have to fight the final boss. Oh, no! But, uh, yeah. The Golden Diva can be very tricky, especially if you're... Um, don't know what you're doing. But yeah, you got all the treasures in the background there. Um, how fast you do this fight will affect your final, uh, your, uh, the ending. There's four endings to this game. So, uh, try to do this fight as fast as possible, essentially. So that did five damage. That's it. Uh oh. See, so yeah, that was the cat the whole time. Is that interesting? Anyway, oh. <laughs> if you don't buy an item, the cat just runs in and tries the same thing and gets eaten anyway. Uh, so yeah, the Golden Diva. Six minutes. <laughs> That's it. Uh, ah. So yeah, this phase of the fight, uh, you have all these annoying faces. Uh, you just have to. Hit them at the fan. Also, man, yeah. I forgot, you just have to jump on them. Okay. Come on. It's like... It's not even hurting you, it's just wasting your time right now. So, I think this... Yeah, uh, this is like the first phase regardless. You just have the, like, the fake faces. And the fan, and now you have another face here. Um, she's gonna have a few different ways for you to attack her. You have these little, these little uh, green guys uh, that you can use to hit her in the face. Uh, she has this ball that, when you hit it, it bounces uh, around. Um, I think it depends on what style face you have there. There we go. Uh, this one, I think she's gonna have a little hammer that comes out. No. The egg, shoot. Uh, that egg is like an ex- oh, 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 Is like, um, Cuckoo Condor. So for this hammer, this hammer you do not use to hurt her. Um, oops. Uh, the hammer you use to hit yourself in the head. Which is really weird. Uh, and if you're lucky, uh, you can actually hit, uh, collect the hammer before it goes away and just keep reusing it. Shoot. Or have a, an enemy or something. Okay, uh, we're getting close, we're getting close. Uh, also, yeah, make sure that when the hammer is first uh, going there, uh, you don't let it hit you. Okay, so we got rid of her fake face, now the real face over here. Uh, so what she's gonna do, she's gonna try to ground pound you. So you have to smack her in the head when she does that. Except when she does ground pound, uh, aside from stunning you, also, um, it'll, uh, redu uh, get rid of an area in the floor. Uh, which means that you have to make sure that whatever you're doing, it's not screwing anything up. Finally, you have the lips there. Whew! <laughs> The lips can't hurt you, you just destroy them and that's it. Um, but don't delay because if the chests start disappearing, uh, then you're going to be upset. So, <laughs> we did it. Um, so not a tough fight if you know what you're doing. Uh, however, you can get really tripped up in that second phase when she starts stacking things. Uh, for the types of endings, uh, the best ending is if you have all 12 chests here. 
which require you to defeat the boss perfectly and then also the diva perfectly over here. Um, the second best ending is when you have between 4 and 11 chests. Personally, I like that ending better. <laughs> um, the next ending is between 2 to 3 chests, and the worst ending is 0 or 1 chest. Uh, I might show off the other endings in a bonus video, but um, for now we'll just enjoy this ending. <laughs> I like that you're taking this guy out with you also. You get all the treasure and everything too. I think you still have a big bag on you even if you don't collect any of the treasures. I tried once. But, whew! We made it. He was a load bearing boss. These things uh, you always get from the bosses, even if the treasure doesn't exist, but anyway. That's right, the cat was actually the missing princess that that newspaper that we saw talked about. Thank you, Wario. Oh. So... I'm just gonna say, and unfortunately, she's also, like, been dead forever, so... Yeah. Poor Wario. But her soul is free. So I want to say the amount of treasures you have at the oh, end geez. reflects, like, the, the princess transformation reflects Wario's desire, because the second best option is she- I think she looks more like Princess Peach in that regard. Also, I love the memories that you see. So, like, I guess Wario just likes the short hair girls, which is perfectly fine. She was very cute regardless. But regardless, this is Wario Land 4. Uh, again, I love this game so, so much. Like, this is- this game, I think, is a perfect Game Boy Advance experience. Uh, it has its flaws with some of the levels and, you know, the, the timing system and stuff, um, but, like, I don't know, it's just wacky. It's weird. It, like, it's it uses the, the sprite pixel uh, style uh, for the Game Boy Advance's, like, hardware perfectly. Uh, the music is, is ridiculous. Like, the levels are, you know, none of them really overstay their welcome, even the bad ones. You know, they're all... You know, regardless of how annoying some of the levels are, they're short enough that it's really not the problem. <laughs> um, but, uh, yeah, it's just, it's fantastic. And, um, you know, I'm glad, uh, I'm glad I got a chance to play for the channel here. You know, I, I just, uh, I have a lot of good memories playing this on my, uh, Game Boy Advance, and I still have my game, my original. And obviously, this is the Wii U version because it's better quality. But um, man, like you get like the music samplings here also of all the levels. It's just, it's so nice. Look at that. <laughs> and uh, yeah, there's really not much I can say. Like I, I give this game like a nine. You know, it's, uh, it's just a really, really good experience. Um, and, uh, it has, it has a lot of charm, and you can see, if you, like, like I said at the beginning, you can see, like, where, <laughs> where, um, the WarioWare series got its ideas, its, uh, its, uh, you know, a way in life from, excuse me. screen went dark because I wasn't touching any buttons. Um, and my controller went off also. Uh, but yeah, the, you can see like where the WarioWare series got its, got its, uh, uh, 
W. Trin oh, William Trinan. <laughs> I was like, isn't he Bill Trinan? Oh, right. Um, and yeah, I don't know. There's not much more to say, like, for the point. It's just... This, I don't know, this game, this game is, uh, it spoke to me. I, I've talked before about, like, how Katamari's, like, strangeness was, like, a, a defining factor for me, and I wouldn't say this game had the same impact, but it also, like, had that, it, it fits in the same category of, like, this is, this is a game that's, like, got its, its style exactly correctly, you know? What style that is, I have no idea. It's it's being weird and sometimes surreal and with the music's choices and the sound test and uh, off the wall and it's just crazy. Um, but yeah, as I said before, um, this game also has a hard mode, which surprisingly is harder. Uh, and if you beat hard mode, I believe it unlocks very hard mode or something like that. Uh, so if you want an extra challenge, uh, go for that. But yeah, a few days later... Warrior's at it again. What treasure is he after this time? It's not the same kid. Steaks is yeah, it's an all you can eat buffet. Steaks, eat as much as you can. That's the next adventure. Wario's next adventure is an all you can eat buffet. Uh, but yeah, thank you all very much for joining me on this trip. Um, there will be bonus videos of me doing the bosses, all the bosses, um, without items. Maybe one bonus video, maybe two, depending on the timing it takes. Uh, but aside from that, I think we're pretty much done. Uh, I might show off alternate ending if I can, because, uh, well, we'll just show you here. You push start. If you continue with the save data, every boss will be revived. Wario. So yeah, you start the game back up again. It's actually kind of cool in that regard. Uh, every boss except for Spoiled Rotten. Sorry, Spoiled Rotten. You're, you can't come back to life, but yeah. Um, it resets, it doesn't reset your money, it doesn't reset your progress or anything, all it does is, uh, the bosses practice, you know, all, all four bosses come back to life, uh, and you need to defeat them again in order to unlock the Golden Pyramid. Uh, you do not need to do the Golden Passage level again, but you can go straight to the D.Va. But, um, yeah, so this is this is the best way to just you know practice the bosses and um, you know try for the other endings. Uh, it's actually a neat system that you can do, you know. But um, yeah, that's it. Thank you all very much for watching. Um, thank you for is this the one? No. Let's go for the short food time. No. Soft shell. Uh, yeah, that's uh, that's it for the Let's Play, uh, aside from the bonus videos again. Uh, again, thank you all so much for watching and joining me and bearing with me with, uh, you know... I have thoughts about this Let's Play. I wish it could have been better in some regards in, like, you know, the construction going on throughout it and, um, you know, gaps because my back hurting and stuff, but, uh, I'm glad it's done and, uh, stay awesome. Goodbye, everybody. See you next time. Bye-bye.